All right, welcome to Mark Reviews Stuff. And as you can see, my hair is in no way ready to be making a video right now, but that's the point of this particular video. I had just run out of my crew hair stuff that, uh, that my wife picked up, I think at Great Clips. And uh, so she did some research to find something that she thought would smell good, that I would also like, and would also be effective. And uh, she settled on Barbershop Matte Hair Clay. And the brand here, I, I can't endorse the name of the bearded bastard. And that's the last time I'll say it. <laughs> um, but I, I do like their product. I've used it a grand total of one time and I'm going to use it again um, for this video. So one of the things she really liked was that the ingredients here, it's all really pretty natural stuff. You don't see any glycerols or any weird stuff like that. So it's different, you know, castor oil, coconut oil, beeswax, carnauba, stuff like that. Okay, so first things first, when when uh, you look at the packaging, this is going to appeal to a man. So this is maybe a good stocking stuffer type gift or just something for someone who you don't know what else to get them. Um, I like that this is actually wood. There's just, just this really thin wood applique on here for the graphic or for the uh, logo. And this screws on, the, the tin is metal. Okay, and it, it has these nice deep grooves on it. So it screws on really nicely. Okay, the hair putty itself, or this hair clay as they call it, you can see this is how much I used yesterday, the first time I used this. Just this little, I can't even get my, my finger impression there. It's about the size of my pinky, maybe. So really not much at all. And you can hear that. It's pretty hard and I'm barely making a little indentation there. Okay, so a little bit tricky if you haven't used a hair clay product before. You're used to maybe just scraping some off on your finger and then you're good to go. I mean, that, that only gets me that much. You can't even really see it. So what I found effective yesterday and all the fashion bloggers and the, you know, cosmetic bloggers and things can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'd love to know. So leave your comments in the section below if I'm doing this wrong. I just kind of took a chunk out of it, even used my fingernail a little bit, right? So there's a little chunk out of there and then just kind of smooth it back over because I'm like that. Okay, so now I have just a little bit. It's kind of messy on my fingers. You can see that. So I'm going to add a little bit of water. Being careful not to wash it down the drain here. Okay, so just like you would with actual clay, right? If, if you wanted it to be a little more pliable, a little more malleable, you'd add a little bit of water to it. So now I kind of have a, a general coating over all of my fingers and you can't really see chunks of clay except under my fingernails, okay? And then you just rub it through your hair like you normally would. You can see it's already kind of holding its shape a little bit. Okay. I might need a little more in the front. I have this wicked cowlick here that wreaks havoc on things. Okay, so just a tiny bit more. Still had some water on my fingers. Go through the front. Okay, and then I, have, I usually start, go off camera here, with uh, just a cheap comb. This was literally free at Great Clips. Okay. I get the idea of the shape of my hair with a cheap comb. I need a little more water through this stuff. And I need a haircut again. It's been a while since I did that Great Clips video. I don't know why when I do my hair I have this pained look on my face like, ah! Actually I do know why, because it's not the lustrous wavy locks that I had when I was younger. <laughs> okay. Alright. So once, once I have the general idea of what I want my hair to look like, I don't want it to really look like this brushed out, blown out look or such a killer laser part, right? So a little bit more water on my hands and now I'm just going to kind of piece it out with my fingers and get water on my glasses. I normally do this without my glasses on, but I have to see for this video. All right. 
Okay, so now it's a little, little more chunky, a little more pieced out. And what I like about this stuff, can't really tell right now because it's a little bit wet. It has a decent hold, okay? But I don't feel like I'm wearing a helmet on my head. So the main complaint I have with other gels and, and styling products and stuff is like, it gets, it's crunchy. So you have to like do your hair once, let it dry out, and then kind of do your hair again by breaking up the crunchiness that's left behind. And that's, that's even, you know, using the amount they give you kind of sparingly. I had that problem with crew and I wasn't using a ton. So what I like about this is that it has kind of a softer hold. It's not this glistening nastiness, man. I may need more on my bangs here. I got to Gotta go get a haircut. But, you know, very minimal amount that I used. I mean, you saw it. And just kind of rehydrate it with a little bit of water and make more of a paste than this kind of rock hard product that's here. And it does that to your hair. So I look a lot better now. That is an objective statement. I look a lot better now. And now I can actually uh, go out in public without being embarrassed. So, I will put a link in the description below to where you can pick this stuff up. It is a bit pricey, but with the amount that you saw me use, this is going to last me months, right? So probably worth the investment. Works a lot better than other things that I've used. This particular one, again, Barbershop Matte Hair Clay. And be careful not to get this part wet, which I just did, because this is actual wood on the top here. So the Bearded Bastard. Um, I have not tried any of their other products, but if they work like this, then uh, you know I'd be inclined to endorse them. They are based in Austin, Texas, and uh, product pretty natural product, and it smells good. I wish I could convey the smell on here because I like it. It's almost like a pine type scent. I imagine a lumberjack, someone who would actually go by the name the bearded bastard, using something like this. So that'll do it for this Mark review stuff. If you like this review, I probably won't do many tutorials where I'm looking in a mirror and you're watching me from the side. Um, but this one I, I felt like merited kind of a live demonstration. You saw it didn't take very long and the difference is a lot better. It's already kind of drying out. It looks a lot better than it did. So subscribe to this channel. Let me know what you think in the uh, section below and keep tuning in. I'm going to keep sharing. This was kind of a how-to and a Mark reviews stuff. Uh, I also review places, movies, things that I encounter in my daily life. So please subscribe. Thanks.